I'm back again this weekend. I'm gonna, uh, gonna work a little bit on this porch again. Try to get a little bit more done on it. I came up by myself this time. Sandra couldn't make it. Aww. So I'm just gonna spend the day working on this and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing. She found these, uh, I've got this foam board right here. This two inch foam board. And I'm gonna be putting it inside all these little squares. I kind of made it tough on myself the way I did this. It's not gonna be real easy. I've gotta cut every piece to fit, but I did it to myself, so I'm just gonna have to live with it. Get it. I brought uh, four four by eight sheets. I'm estimating I'm gonna need about eight of them to finish this, the whole thing. But hopefully I'll get these four in. I brought these strips right here, these uh, treated one inch strips. Sandra found them online. I got them for a dollar a piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these and place them in here. I didn't bring the, any more two by sixes to finish this, so I won't be doing that this weekend. But what I did do is I made this jig right here. It's the thickness of this foam board right here. So that way I can set this like this and then I can put my strip right here. And I can just go all the way around and do the same thing. That way when I cut the foam, it ought to just slide in and stop right there even with the top of the two by six. Couple of places, I have a four by four, like right here in the way. That was too long, so I, I made a shorter jig that'll fit inside these shorter ones. So it'll make it easy to know exactly where to put that, you know, the little board piece that I cut for that to sit on. And then also, the same guy who had these uh, little one inch strips, he had some plywood. It's like, it's not what I'm gonna use for a flooring. It's like half inch or so, but he had these for $5. So I bought, I don't know, eight of them maybe but I brought six of them with me that's the rest of them right there so what I'm gonna do for now is when I get that foam board in over here I'm just gonna lay these on top of it I don't want anyone accidentally stepping on it and falling through and busting up the the foam board or a leg or something you know so i'm just gonna temporarily maybe put a screw in each corner of the wood and that'll kind of protect it from the top side anyway and then the other two pieces are actually I, yeah the other two pieces I'll just lay on here, that way they won't be warping or anything. But that's the plan. The first thing I'm gonna do is start off with these um, strips. So I'm gonna get busy measuring those and cutting those and, and putting them in. Okay, what I did is I went through those first two rows 
and I wrote down all the measurements. I did a grid of how many squares are in each row and I put the measurements in it. And a lot of these are gonna be the same, so I'm gonna add up all the ones that are the same and just cut all them. And then I'll get into the different size ones because of some of the four by fours. And then I will cut them. I need a lot of them that are 12 inches. So I'll probably start off just cutting a bunch at 12 inches. I'm gonna stop that for a minute just to show you what I'm doing what it looks like that is my strips there in the edge and on the sides I tried putting it in with just the end ones and I had originally measured from the edge to edge but I don't think I need that big of a board that way I can you know make this wood go farther i think i just need something in the middle to help support it i put one in there a minute ago and it kind of was bowing without these middle ones so i, I did go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and add them to this and this to give it some good support i still got to add these right here but that's what i'm doing anyway right now just trying to give it to, I, I'll tell you what, once you get these in there, they're good and tight. It took me forever to get that one back out to put those uh, side pieces in. So it does fit good and tight. It's pretty easy to trim up too. If you cut it a little big, I bought that knife right there at Home Depot to Milwaukee and it's supposed to stay sharper longer and so far, it's doing really good, so I'll just keep on going. This is how it's going so far i've got these first two done they're all in there good and tight they're hard to get out actually if you if you want to take them back out but i've got a little bit more of that one sheet right there what i'm going to do now is i'm going to i'm going to try to get as many of these uh those little pieces those strips in and get as many as i can because that, that is what is so time consuming, plus cutting this, but my back's about to kill me anyway. And uh, it's about time for me to have a snack for lunch or something too. So 
uh, that's what I'm gonna start on now it's just I'm gonna do the strips so I'll get back with you in a little while after I get some of these strips done okay I've got this row this row and this row I've got them all done I've got four pieces of wood inside each one it's taking a while a lot of screwing but I'm ready now to start cutting the foam and I could just continue on with the foam all the way to here the uh, the eight foot line is right here on this board so I, I want to try to for sure get to there so I can lay the board on it and protect it there there and then I'm not for sure about the back yet but I've got these all done now and ready to start cutting this uh, foam board again It looks like a mess right now. I got a lot of little pieces on here. I've got all the way to here done. All that is in. These two right here on the end, I still have to put those little uh, pieces in there for them to sit on. And then also all the way down. So I'm gonna have to spend some time again cutting those little uh, pieces of wood. To mount on here with the jig and uh i'll come back after that okay i got all these little pieces cut i'm going to put two screws in each one and get them all ready to go over there and put on i cut them all with my little miter saw chop saw and uh just a safety tip don't ever put your hand underneath the blade when it's still spinning i got lucky just got two fingers not very deep but could have been a lot worse so i should have been more careful been a full day of working on this and I ran out of those small boards that uh, Sandra found for a dollar and I need some more two by sixes over there in the middle that I didn't bring so I think I'm done with the with what I can do right now on the uh, the insulation I still have the wood that I can put on here to cover this, which I haven't done it yet. But this right here is how far I've got. 
that's a uh, 16 feet right there so this this whole end here is done it was just a pain having to notch out for all these four by fours and uh my hand is sore from i cut it last week at work a little bit and that's right where i'm holding the knife to in the bend of one of my fingers and that's right where i'm holding the knife to cut this and it kind of hurts but i'll stick that piece right there in the cabin and i'll set that plywood on here uh to kind of protect this from anything getting on it or someone stepping on it getting hurt or whatever but that's as far as I can get with the installation uh, today. All right. Another day's worth of work completed. I'm going to head back. You had one full day here to work on this. I've got all this section right here insulated straight across uh this first section right here is insulated all the way to right there none of that right there and in the back all the way to where you see it over there has any in it yet i've just set these six uh half inch boards on here i screwed these down on the corners just to protect the foam board We're not using those for the decking though so we'll take those back up and maybe build some cabinets or something with them inside or, or something. I don't know. We'll do something with them. And next time, I'm going to have to bring four more sheets of that foam board. And I still have all this area over here to do the strips in. And that's a job in itself. So... I don't know if I'll get around to the decking next time because that's going to be a lot of work just to finish this uh, foam board. So I'll probably wait and get this completely done before I bring the foam board and I mean the decking and work on that. It's just so much I can do with my back and far to getting old get tired but this right here gives you a scope of the size of it now you know with all the wood on there anyway we'll come back next time finish that foam board and and go from there just another step down thanks for watching